the Justice Podcast with your hosts, Damber Wagner and Jacob Willis. What's the deal, y'all? Welcome to episode 45. It's your girl, Just Living, baby. And your boy, Jacob Willis. You tune into the Just Us Podcast. <laughs> Today, we have an... <laughs> Emma, so, she was just so happy podcast and it just stopped the pause <laughs> uh, well, we have my amazing friend here uh, our amazing our friend amazing let's friend. get that together sorry I'm sorry wow we have our amazing friend uh, <laughs> James Rice Chanel in the building <laughs> praise, God. praise God how you doing you know I'm good talented singer songwriter chef actor mm, and so much more you know I danced a little bit uh, for real? Oh, shit. I don't want to tell nobody. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say show us something. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we are so glad to have you here today. I'm you look amazing. I'm so glad to be here. Yes. Thank y'all for having me. Here you I've been waiting to get here. Oh, please. Uh-huh. <laughs> we have to contact you. Uh, All right. I was almost going to cuss Jacob out. Oh, yeah? Mm, he's yeah. been waiting for a while to get on. What you been up to? I told you that he was waiting to get on. But we said we were going to wait for the right time. Y'all about to fight? No, yeah. oh. you here today? Not. So <laughs> you here though today, friend? Mm-hmm. I'm here. It's this is I'm supposed to be here. Hello, yeah. today. This yes. is the day. That's divine timing. Right. Mm-hmm. This is the day. That's right. Y'all That's know I'm holy. Right. right. I know. I thought you was gonna start saying this is the mm-hmm. day. I almost mm-hmm. have to catch myself because you know I'll be sent. <laughs> <laughs> so if you ever watch a podcast, we always start the podcast off with a mental health moment. Mm-hmm. Um, you want to take it away? Um, just the feeling of being tired. The feeling of being tired, you know, just from everything. Mm. Lately, I've been tired of being here. I'm not going to lie. Mm. I am tired, you know. Waking up every day trying to be your best, trying to please people even when you're not feeling your best. Mm. Um, putting your best foot forward, managing to get out the bed and crack a smile. And really inside, it's like, I just don't. I just want to go to a bridge and jump. I'm over it. Mm-hmm. Mm. For real. It's yeah. real. Have y'all ever felt like that? Do you feel like that? I felt like that. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you what's crazy. Just yesterday, Mm. I told somebody, and you know what's crazy? I'm always the strong black woman. Mm -hmm. So I don't ever tell. (laughs) (laughs) I'm serious though, but I never tell no one. I never express how I feel. Okay. And you know, I keep it bottled up. Mm -hmm. So I'm expressing how I feel right now because I usually don't. Right. But yesterday, I told someone, um, how amazing God was. Okay. Because I was over it. Mm-hmm. I was over uh, a career. Mm-hmm. I was over paying rent, paying bills, um, just over it. And just everybody think like, first of all, let me say this. Y'all think because y'all see us doing what we do, y'all think we rich and got money. And No, we still living in the streets and the hills and we struggling and we trying Ooh. to figure it out every day. Yes. So that's one. Mm-hmm. I ain't rich. Not me. Either. It's nine to five. Mm-hmm. Every day. Every day. Facts. Yeah. And I just, told, like I said, I told someone, I was like, I'm over it. Mm-hmm. And I, well, I told her I was over it. Okay. And she was like, wait, what? And I was like, yeah, I never expressed myself, so you wouldn't know. Mm-hmm. And then every time I express myself, people say, oh, child, you're strong. You, you, you. No. Tired of Sometimes the strong gets weak. <laughs> exactly. So I definitely know how you feel. Yeah, and nobody likes to check on the strong because they think they're so busy being strong. Yeah. yeah. Never check you on You feel us. me? And then with us being like, you know, influencers and a big, you know, public figure, right. they expect us to be all the time, like, you know, just... Peaches just, and cream. Right. Yeah. And I well, got to hold up an image, like, I got to make sure I'm dressing good, make sure my hair is done, I got to right. pay for this, do that, because I don't want them to catch me slipping, but I'm tired. It's a lot to I'm handle. I'm fucking tired, man. Yeah. Be over real. it. Mm-hmm. I can relate to what you said too like a lot of all of my friends always come to me with their problems and it's like okay I understand and then they get mad at me sometimes when I just say I don't want to hear it today right you know what I mean because a lot of the things are also repetitive and I'm like I'm going through my own mm-hmm. shit just because I don't talk about the things I'm going through mm-hmm. doesn't mean that I'm not human like you know what right. I mean mm-hmm. so it's mm-hmm. like lately I've just been very like no to people like no I don't want to hear it and they may take it personal but for me I need to say no it was such a relief for me to finally say no I, I don't want to hear it oh no feels so yeah, no right. no no you can't come over no I don't want to talk mm-hmm. no, no I'm not going out I gotta be no there for me feels so good yeah yeah I need to work on that more actually Ooh. yeah once I realized no what it was and what it meant mm-hmm. no means stop come on <laughs> I put my hands up I can't do it <laughs> and I be like oh no not today I can't yeah. I'm sorry mm-hmm. cause you let me tell you what's crazy <laughs> The other day, somebody asked me 
Facts. I because I've recently been saying, no, 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 Justin's child, baby, on repeat. <laughs> and my friend said, Can I borrow ten dollars hmm. to give me some water for my house? And I said, Oh, he really needed. And you know, at first, I was about to be like, uh-uh, because right. no was in my Shondo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But I sent him way more than what he asked for. And mm -hmm. mind you, let me tell you, I ain't have it to send. See? But I did. Mm -hmm. And the very next day, I made that, what I sent him, like, a hundred times over. See? Wow. So it does help to sometimes say yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Every once in a while. <laughs> but the no was in my spirit. Right, but you felt it in your spirit to still I, give, even I though said, we I didn't have it. He's a great person. He's right. so sweet. Mm -hmm. And um, he just moved to his place. And okay. It's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. And he was just like... It's hard times, too. You it know, is. These businesses are yeah. barely holding on. They're barely holding on. You know, because I was making my main income from Instagram. Now right. that shit is slow to the flow. I yeah. can barely go. It's okay? slow to the flow. For sure, so... But Facebook still give it to you? See, and I'm not a hip on Facebook oh. like that. All I know is Facebook dating. Now, Instagram didn't stop, but Facebook didn't stop. <laughs> yeah, a lot okay. of people talk okay. about Facebook and, and like how they make a bag on Facebook. But they I didn't never stop. understood. That's what they switched to. Okay. Mm. So, y'all don't switch to Facebook. Okay, right. I'm gonna make it make sense. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and Snapchat make a coin, too. I, I heard, heard that, too. I'm trying to get to that, too. They say Snapchat the coin, coin, coin. Yeah, 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 for sure. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Well, Snapchat. subscribe to my Snapchat. I subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> right. That's coming soon for me, absolutely. Feet. Mm. Oh. Yeah. oh, you know they got the feet app. Nuh-uh. They got an app where the people pay to see your feet. Oh, yeah, it's time. And they could tell and they tell you like what to do. Like, put some caramel in your feet. Let me see you put some caramel. Oh, you better say less. They love my Did little you toes. You on there? I got some nice feet too, so. They look a little big. They they nice. They ladyish. Okay. They ladyish, huh? They ladyish. Okay. <laughs> Not ladyish. <laughs> Like a nice little light brown. Okay. <laughs> Not the light brown. Not Kappa. You but know, a little... moving along, okay? <laughs> moving along. So we all, let's just get the, the elephant in a, a room out of here. And she's not even in here, the person. I'm here. Oh, I thought you were talking about oh, the elephant. Oh, friend, do not do that. <laughs> you are not. Um, you know, <laughs> she always tries to play around <laughs> her own self. You know you're confident with who you are when <sighs> you can just joke around and it's nothing personal. You know what I mean? You gotta be confident. Have fun yeah, you with know, it. You have That's to. where I'm at. And that's just that. <laughs> Take it or leave it. <laughs> Take it or leave it. Mm hmm Hello? It's just a lot to do with. It's just a little bit extra. Right. That's it. They, but let me tell you, people stop looking like y'all like pounds. For real, because behind closed doors, it'd be pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about Root, there is um, a situation that you went through. Uh, and yes. um, it was very shocking, mm. especially, you know, when you hear something like that that hap happens to somebody, but you know the person you or you met it. that person, it makes it make you feel like, should I reach out? Should I contact? Mm -hmm. Should I wait? You right. know what I mean? Right. Um, and then also for you being a public figure, mm -hmm. that's something that you had to go through, you know, publicly. Publicly. You didn't really have right. time to get it all together. You right. know what it I mean? Was, Cope. It was out right. quick. It was out very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, quick. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Um, so let me, I be getting emotional when I talk about this. Um, because, so, ooh, okay, it's all over the place. Okay, so I'm, I'm still trying to figure out why this happened. Why did this happen to me? Um, I wasn't in an argument with anyone. I wasn't going back and forth or arguing with anyone. None of that took place. Now, what I walked in on was that with mm -hmm. other people, not me. Right. When I got in there, I was consoling the person, like, because the person was crying. I'm like, why are you crying? What happened? Mm -hmm. And when the story got explained to what happened, I was like, oh. And it was just boom, boom. After that, it, everybody's mouth dropped. to the, I, Everybody's mouth literally dropped. When I, like, came back to it, everybody's mouth was still like, it was unbelievable. Because it was for no reason. Mm -hmm. and, and you didn't even see it coming, did you? No, at all. Because yeah. there was no reason for it. Right. So, um, the crazy thing is, like I've said on social media, um, this is the, the part I want to talk about, the processing part. Because I would wake up, and I haven't even said this to you publicly, I would wake up and 
wake up out of my sleep crying. Shut up. And not knowing why. And not knowing what that meant. So when I contacted the therapist, she said, it's trauma. Mm. And so she was like, trauma will wake you up out of your sleep. And I was like, but I was crying. I was crying in my sleep. I don't know. She was like, you was crying in your sleep. She was like, mentally, I was thinking about it in my sleep. Right. Because I still don't know. I don't bother nobody. You don't. I don't argue with people. I don't get online and cut up and do what mm. everybody else is doing. I don't do none of that. So I had to question God. Mm, that's deep. And I was like, because mm. let me tell you, a couple of days after, I was like, Lord, I'm, you suck. <gasps> that's how I felt. Right. That's really, that's how you feel. That's how yeah. I felt, because right. I did not understand. Oh, Jesus. I'm trying not to get emotional. Can we get some tissues? I'm trying not to get emotional. Tissues? But I didn't understand why this happened to me. Right, right. I don't bother anyone. I don't do anything to anybody. No, whenever we see you out, it's always jubilant. I'm just, it's always inviting. It's fun. It's so It's welcoming. Fun. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, and I still don't know what happened. Like, I'm still, it still, like, bothers me. And I told someone today, um, one of my friends that's just always dramatic, I said, listen, I said, I can't deal with your drama. Thank you. I said, I can't deal with your drama because I'm still trying to process my your drama. Own drama, right. Yeah. Do you see situations now or do you can you watch something and feel triggered? Um, what's crazy is where I come from, you know where I come from. Right. That's why I'm like, so <laughs> it was I let me tell you, I like I said, I was I was angry with God. Mm -hmm. I was angry. And the Lord told me, He said, it's not about you. But it had to happen to you. Whoo, if that ain't a word. Yeah. And let me tell you the other thing. He said, in this, so many people are going to learn lessons, which were the people that were around. Mm -hmm. And so many different things been happening to people. God said, I'm trying to open up the other folks' eyes, right. but I got to use you. Mm -hmm. You got to set that example. So in yeah. that moment, when he spoke to me, it was like, you, you my, you're my strong person. I cre like the thing is, everybody's special in their own way. Right. So when God created you, he did something different, did something different, did something different. We all got our own unique gifts and talents and ways we live life. Absolutely. That's what makes us an individual. Mm -hmm. But when he said it had to happen to you, and then in that moment, I said, okay. The crazy thing is I, I went into worship in that moment. Hmm. At home. I was at home in that moment, and I went into worship. Because, like, people don't understand God is good. Because the thing is, I could have lost my life. <clears throat> Absolutely. You know the right hit. You, you could be out of here. Out. It could have right. been a lot worse. Brain dead, vegetable, right. everything. Yeah. And we know that you and Tamar are very good friends. Mm -hmm. And she eventually did speak out. But a lot of people were saying, why didn't she speak out a lot sooner? Now, um, for you, how did you feel like when she did speak out? Did you feel like she did the right thing for you? Was that the right public announcement as um, far as the situation? So the thing is, um, I want I wasn't going to speak out. Mm -hmm. Like, I wasn't going to speak out. But I feel like for her, I feel like she was, even a week later, she was still in shock. Right. She called me every day, every second, every minute, every hour, every, like. Because mm -hmm. sometimes in situations like that, you don't know what to say. You don't. Yeah. Especially when it's no reason for it. Mm -hmm. It's like, what do I, what, what do, yeah. I, I'm lost. What do I say? And that's why she did say, in quote, I wish it was me and not him. Yeah. I wish it would have been me. Because I, I'm telling you, yeah. like I say, it, I had nothing to do with what was going on. Right. It then it was my, like her concert. Call. So I know she felt even worse. Like, damn, you know? Right. And we don't have that on our shows. On tour, mm -hmm. oh, it's none of that. Right, no drama, just... Oh, no drama. It's just another sad love song wrecking my brain like crazy. It's, <laughs> it's R&B. Right, right. So <laughs> it's none of that. But I, in all of that, the God is good. Um, I feel like I'm still healing. Mm -hmm. That's why I had to tell someone yesterday. I said, listen, your drama, baby, I don't want to part. So you got to keep the drama to yourself. I don't want to hear it. I, I'm dealing with stuff on my own. Right. Yeah. Because it's triggering. Like, mm -hmm. it's triggering. 
And um, it's so funny. When I go to sleep, I still see the moment. Like, I still see the moment. Yeah, it's going to take a <clears throat> I mean, that's not something that you just get over. You don't. You know? But as a strong black woman. Mm-hmm. That you, you, you are. You keep it and push it and keep it moving. <laughs> right. You're still taking legal actions. You're still... You know, you got to... Let me tell you. God don't play with me. For real. He don't play with me for real. That's right. For real. Hold he don't play down. with you. Mm-hmm. He don't, but uh, he, he like to joke you. a little bit. He like to joke. He do. He but sometimes I'll be like, Lord, what the? No, for real. And he I play. Like, I like how what you said earlier, how you felt when you was talking to God or whatever. Because sometimes I'm like, damn, do you love me? Do you hear me? What's right. going on? Right. Why me? Why, why me? Right. Why, why now? Me? But then again, you got to think, right. why not me? Right. Because let why me tell not you, now? Why not? the whole time it's working in your favor. favor. That's right. Yeah. The whole time, even the trials and the tribulations, mm-hmm. it is working in your it's favor. It's just a season. And it's it's gonna, a season. It's a season. Yeah. And it's going to pass. And it's a test. Yes, it is. It's a mm-hmm. test. You're so right. And you made it out, so, you did. You know. And you're going to pass it because it's not like the DMV test. It's right. Because cool, it took me three times for that it's one. It's not hard like that. Oh, I still don't you, have a license. You don't? Never drove in my life. It's my phobia. So I pray that God delivers me from that. I'm very scared to drive. Even when my friends are driving, I get a little paranoid sometimes, especially if they're too close to the curb. You know when you got to make that right? Uh-huh. You get on, I get anxiety You're inside. Like, oh, Fred. <laughs> right. Ooh, especially with Amber. I'm like, okay. You know, I know you're from the hood. You know, Amber, <laughs> we drive like. Right. From the, <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> right. I'm in corners, got the beat up. I'm yeah, like, I don't damn. know how to drive from niggas. Right. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know how to hop out the car if I got to, but I, you know, I don't know how to get by. We, we don't hop out, we just run you over. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm, I gotta keep going, I'm sorry. Boop. Yeah. Right. <laughs> keep it moving you along. You gotta drive. No, I do you not. You gotta get over that. But I, you spend a lot of money on that goddamn Uber. Do you ever think about that? I mean, I know you know. must have it, but I mean, that's a lot. Excuse me. That's a lot. It's not even about that. This is the thing. I think you I... Rent a car is cheaper than Uber. But you know what? Even where I live, <laughs> my street, people hate coming to my house. I live in Hollywood. I live on the Sunset, you know? No so, parking. No parking. So even if I did, I would have to wake up every morning at 5 a.m. because I live across the street from a school and a studio. Ooh. You know, so I would have to move the car at 5 o'clock in the morning, move it. Then the street cleaning every week, so it's a lot. That's how you live in New York. And it's, that's what it sounds like. But I, that's because what they I live in the do. heart of yeah, Hollywood, yeah. everything is right by my house. I can walk to the grocery store. I can get an Uber to West Hollywood. It's right Take there. Beverly Hills right there. Downtown's mm-hmm. right there. Mm-hmm. 11 and a half. Oh, put them things to work. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. I walked here today from home. That's how close Did I live to the studio. Yes. You was pumping. I shot shade away. I was excited. I said, we fed up. Go oh, work. And you didn't sweat? No. no. You was pumping. Okay. I was pumping. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> well, couldn't be me. Couldn't right? be me. <laughs> Mm-mm. Moving right along. So who is James Rice Chanel? Yes, we want to know about show. Let's get deep. Um, I told y'all already I'm a strong black woman. I'm a- <laughs> Tell your story, friend. <laughs> James Rice Chanel. So I'm James Rice first. Okay. Chanel came from the legendary house of Chanel okay. in the ballroom scene. Mm-hmm. You know, Chanel. That's where it came from. <laughs> and... um. I am from South Central, born and raised. That poor. With the Crips. Mm. You know. <laughs> she know. Um, but I've always been this big personality, even as a child. Mm-hmm. So back in the day, um, I feel like the LA gatherings. Like, you know how back in the day we used to go to gatherings with our mamas mm-hmm, I mean, mm-hmm. baby showers and stuff like that? Mm-hmm. I feel like the L.A. gatherings are always just so epic. Because it's like, Thanks. it could be the kid getting baptized, but the after party is like, it's the dinner up. is like, yeah. it's going mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> as a kid, my mom friends would be like, bring little James too. My mom would be like, he got school. And they'd be like, Bring. I'm like six and seven and eight. Mm-hmm. And I would get to these parties and I would entertain these people. Wow. Like I would sing. It almost reminds me of, uh, uh, remember Eddie Murphy comedy series Raw? I didn't see it. No? No. So um, Eddie Murphy parents used to bring him to these parties and he would come out and do comedy as a kid. Okay. And okay. would cut up. Mm-hmm. And... I always say that reminds me of myself because wow. my mom friends would be like, he gonna little James gonna sing Patty, and now he be singing Patty songs and blah blah blah. And n- currently that's me. Mm-hmm. Always entertaining, making the people laugh, joking. Yes. Um, I would tell people growing up, and they'd be like, I'd be like, my life was perfect. Wow, that's and they'd be like, "What?" I'd be like, "Yeah, my daddy spoiled me, my mama spoiled me, my every my uncle." Everybody, so I was spoiled, hmm. and to this day I'm still spoiled. 
But um, I had a great life growing up. Like, yeah. I wouldn't trade it in. Now, there are some bumps and some things that happened along the way. That that's shit life, oh, life. Yeah, that's life. But other than yeah. that, like, my family, they raised me. Like, I wouldn't be who I am today and be respectful if it wasn't for... You know, my grandma didn't play. She was a big mama. She didn't play. Okay. Yeah. She didn't play. She cuss you out. And I ain't never got a whooping. Never? No. Mm-mm. I, when I seen everybody else get popped, that was the example. Like, oh, okay, okay. You learned from that. Okay. I, I start telling. I'm like, Granny, you know he... Um... Oh, that's he was Granny's favorite, huh? <laughs> Granny? <laughs> she said, what the niggas do? I said, you, they hopped that gate. They was on Our Lady Roof. And yeah. <laughs> oh, you... And me riding on on the roof because I liked one of the boys that was playing with my cousin. <laughs> oh, no, <God. laughs> one of my cousin's friends. That's so a hypocrite. I'm getting on the roof to get her. Like, damn, I'm gonna hurt myself trying to get up <laughs> to see you. <laughs> but I, James Rice Chanel, I've had an amazing life, and it's still amazing to this day. Mm -hmm. But you know, I went to Washington High School. Okay. I went to Westchester too. Mm. I was bougie fires, and then I went to the streets. <laughs> I want to be a nigga from So the you street. got the best of both worlds. The best of both. Let me tell you, because my dad and my mom family is night and day. Okay. My mama family? Yeah. Oh, she know. <laughs> <laughs> my dad family, the little more uppity. They my group, my like I've never heard my dad, mom, I've never heard her curse. I've never heard yeah. her yell. I've That's never, something. Oh, she's like, now I don't know. She she might she could be a hood rat. I don't know what she is, but in my eyes, she's like perfect. Okay, like she's like the closest thing to the Lord. Like she real holy. That's how my grandma is, and she never cussed ever. Like I'm like Granny, you. And she's so sweet. Now let me tell you what my Granny did have. Ooh, Granny, if you see this, don't tell nobody. Don't get me. <laughs> my grandmother had a couple of husbands, mm. and so when I got older, I was like. I think probably about five, six right now. I'm sorry. I, and I would be like, wait, is she telling these niggas to, if they don't order to get a little piece, they got to marry her? Because she was so holy. Ooh. And it was quick. <laughs> <laughs> the marriage just was quick. <laughs> but, and then my other granny, she had one husband. Well, <laughs> one husband. And that was it. Okay. But my other granny. That sounds more traditional. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. My other granny, I don't know what was going on. She was my saved granny, but she was my, busting down, dog. She was still perfect in my right. like. I, she was the perfect woman. Like she would get up every morning, and when you like when we wake up and go brush our teeth, wash our face, and go into the dining room, mm -hmm. the table is set with the food. Like every morning, dinner we had to have dinner as a family. She was like, I that. like that. She was that okay? And so, and she had how many sons? I think my grandma got 10 sons. Well, that's no a daughters. lot. You know, but you know, the old school, they always had a lot of kids. Mm -hmm. Now you don't really see like 5, 10, 15. Barely five. five. Six, yeah, you no. see five yeah. to 15? You, you see four to five for sure. No, my friend. I barely see that. I ain't gonna say her name. Well, you know, my sister is working on her well, four. Um, my well. friend got, um, my friend daughter got, I think it's 14. 14? Like three sets of twins. Wow. And the rest is regular. My Lord. Mm hmm. She got a lot of kids. Yeah. And then one of her daughters, then her daughter got like eight kids. Mm. You know what? Uh, recently, <clears throat> you know her? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, so I'm excited about kids, right? But you know what? Recently, in my mind, I've been thinking if I did get pregnant again, I would keep it. Yes. I would. Please do so I can yeah. be a good father. mama. I believe so. Mm -hmm. So, a boy you know. mama. You a boy mama. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not one no girl for sure. No, you a boy mama. Mm -hmm. But if you had a girl, you would a little Cinderella. Oh, I would have to, but I would prefer yeah. a boy. Yeah. A rough rider. I would say I would babysit, but you know what? No, I wouldn't, because Amber would spoil her kids. They'd be so bad. Somebody oh, got to watch the kids. I got to get outside. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm just joking. And they'd be like, my mom was a like, he made us a steak. And, oh, yeah. fancy. I'm we like, We saw him to the Lord. Because right. <laughs> my nieces and nephews, they <laughs> like <laughs> eat different. All of them. Oh, really? Some are like vegetables, some. I would have to yeah. cook chicken strips and fries for one. One bougie, then the other one, I was like, oh. Would you want right. to have kids? I have a son. You do? Are I you never serious? knew that. Nah. Really? A real son? A real son. He work. You have a child? Yes. You said he work? I know that. From... Oh, no, he work. <laughs> they came from your sperm? Yeah. Shut up. You, you don't believe me? You bisexual? No, that's, that's baby. That was 16 years <laughs> ago. Wow, so how old is your That son? was 16 years ago. I was outside playing house. Oh, that's crazy. We did not know that. Right, how old is he? 16. 
What? I was outside playing. House. Why we never see him? Cause it's, I don't want you keep that trying to attack me. Right, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Ooh, I really had to go off. Right, that's so, awesome. How what has fatherhood been for you? You know. Oh. Why did they invent Cash App? Mm. Especially now he's yes. a kid. He, he, the kids. Mm hmm. Sixteen is giving high school, right? What, tenth, eleventh? Uh, yes, high school. Yep. The kids, even with the nieces and nephews, the little was one. Of, can you see me cash out? Mm. I say, oh baby, mine don't work. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> better down. ask somebody mine else. Mine down, okay? But um, that's why I said you'd be a good um boy, mom. Wow. And respectful and a good kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, mm. thank God. Right. That is awesome. Thank God. Hey, it's amazing. Yeah, Look, you, I didn't either. We, none don't of be us. Shocked. No, I'm not. You <laughs> no, know what? I just what the hell? You never know though, and you know you just surprised so you the sex, whole world. You had sex with yeah. a woman. Uh huh. It's still chance for you. You can have a Babe, kid. Babe, I had sex girl, with a woman I, one time. So, I told so you. I'm saying you can have mm -hmm. a kid. Uh huh. I caught an STD, and it wasn't. And that's right. not the reason but why you I don't can like have female. A kid. Yeah, I did. Actually, I had sex twice. And did I have sex twice? Now you got it twice. That's oh, I didn't know because twice. the first time, no, no, no. I caught an STD <laughs> one time. But I, my first time having sex with a girl, I was like 13 in a bush. And it wasn't really sex. She was begging me to just put it in. I put it in and I put it out. That's not really I don't sex. think begging. No, I, I promise like... you, this girl, everybody knew who this girl was in my neighborhood. <laughs> I guess, right? I put it in. In, in. Right, okay. And so then... Right. Um, yeah, I was raw. Oh. That's why he got the STD. No, I was 13. No, it wasn't from her. Oh. That was the first time. I mean, he listened, you know, see? Next, you the, trying to be your messy <laughs> friend with that little Paris hat. Come on back to America. Wee <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. uh, okay, let me I tell you about my STD. PP that went in into the- We didn't um, hear this story. They don't want to hear it again. Okay, well, he didn't hear it. Okay. So um, my, my cousins <laughs> and my best friend, were, they are running a train on a girl at a party. Mm -hmm. And I was trying to prove to them, you know, that I was straight. And so I, you know, had sex with a girl too. Oh, and I, so in you have to, in the in the train. Yeah, peer pressure. Oh, baby, y'all got choo choo, choo choo, mm. and I went. Yeah, I got everybody a, a had it. Um, I don't know if they had it. I, I didn't tell them that I had it. I was too. So I don't know if they would tell me if they got it or not. They but was burning. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know I was bad. Burning bad. I couldn't even sleep at night. Yeah, my mom. I had to tell if my they, mom. If you was, if you was, they all was. She was right. Cause you know the girls, they the ones that spread it. Yeah. Did you know that? No. Oh yeah, they hold it. First of all, the men be spreading this stuff. No, but it comes from y'all don't be feeling when y'all got stuff. It comes no, from y'all yeast. The, 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 no, 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 no. When the I have STDs stuff, it immediately. The STDs come from a woman. <laughs> no, but the STDs are, women hold the STDs and they give I don't know. This is, might be something that we all have to discuss. No, you got to Google it. I think I will. It's true. You didn't know that? Do STDs come from women? <laughs> <laughs> You see why I stick to my side? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all already gave me it. I'm traumatized. Ah! It do. Can a woman create an STD? A couple can't create an STD from nothing. They have to spread it one person to another. Hmm. So it's not saying who. Let me. I don't think that question was the question. Where does STD start from? Okay. They are spread mainly by sexual contact. Okay, but from who? You. It says, ladies, mm, darling, ladies, blood, first. semen, and, ba and vaginal. That's all I know. Bodily fluids. Blood and vaginals. Semen. V ladies got semen. You know what? Well, we just gonna leave but that see, there. But see, it say vaginal. It didn't say penis, you all. Okay. Vaginal. Okay. It vaginal. Be blood, vaginal. semen, That's vaginal. why they be telling ladies to clean. Ladies got to clean your stuff. <laughs> we doing our thing. Ain't that right, ladies? Hey, you said clean your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You're right now, everybody. And fellas, too. You know, especially, right, especially if you got the banana peel because you got to pull you it back. I'm uncut. Peel. I have that. And yes, I and do I hope make sure clean mine is always clean. Make sure the banana Oh, what? Peel. Yes, always. Okay, but it's different type of banana peels. I don't have the one with a lot of extra foreskin, now. Because it's the ones that don't so it's come... it's covered like a blanket? They got I said like I don't have the one that is... <laughs> it's like what I just said, a went in one ear, not the other. I'm sorry, I don't want to offend it. you. I don't no, want to offend you. I said I have the huh? one that is um, not super long. It's, okay, I have a, she found a, it. A lot of skin. Oh, you did? You, you found it? What is that? Wonderful engineer Danny is going to let her talk on the mic. She's going to educate the girls. Yeah, give it to us, bro. Hold. It says, studies have established that women have a higher biological risk for contracting sexual transmitted infections, Contract. STIs, and HIV than men. So Contracting means women. getting it from somebody. Men. Okay. No, no, no. It do, it do, but, but they we have hold, a higher chance. It's, they it's women, women mostly spread 
It's so how are we getting it though? Because From being you know, opening like, your legs, popping that pussy. Well, well, you know, we, well, you know that's yeast. So I'm talking about that real yeast, gonorrhea. But you know, how are we giving a, a, a but giving you know yeast, gonorrhea? Because you know, let me tell you, like people busting in it and they not clean. Like some people, some people have sex and get bust in and get dressed and go home. You know, I've done that plenty of times. Yeah, it could stuff could happen. It, it messed me up before. Because y'all get um, I was happy it was inside of me. Y'all get irritated. <laughs> okay, I was excited. Like I didn't want to let it go. Oh. Y'all be irritated. <laughs> Easily, because it's open. You right. Okay. okay. Well, I, y'all stuff's sensitive. I not have saying no that problem we, being wrong. Not saying that it's nasty. I'm just mm-hmm. saying, like, it's sensitive. So that's why I say you, y'all got to clean that stuff out. Because You right. I haven't done that in a long time, though. Now, afterwards, you know, I'm going to the bathroom. I'm like, uh, little squish, squish, uh, Exactly. Wow. Then I'm Wait getting on the rug. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Some people go, well, I ain't going to say it, because they go, no, I'm talking about them. Oh. Okay, well that's that. Right. There's something new that I did. I did. <laughs> mm. <laughs> and I know what I say. I know a situation where somebody f- drove here um, to LA to do it because he finally gave in and she was thirsty and she drove to LA to do it. Mm-hmm. And then when she got there, he like pounded her, bam, 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 and was like, "You gotta go. My girl come. My girl about to pull up." And she didn't have nowhere to go shower, so she drove all the way back to Vegas, dirty. What? That's four hours, maybe five. With that in you? And she called and she said the next day she was like, my stuff itch so bad. It just will not stop itching. Oh, and I said, well, man. that's like... That remind me of the time that you was on a plane. Like, dirty cum. Damn, Jacob, did I tell her about that time? Yeah, <laughs> you, told, you told her on the podcast. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, yeah, while well, I'm talking shit, I had two STDs at one time. <laughs> it was dirty down for real. And Baby. I on the plane, I couldn't even be still. I got home, went straight to the shower, went straight to the clinic. And see, with a man, did he go to the clinic and they cure his quick? And then with but the he women, he like, "Wasn't nothing wrong with him?" Because he, when he knew, and he went and got that stuff cleared up. Like, I ain't got nothing. And then with the women, it's held in there because it's member. It's yeah, it's, it's mm. coochie like a wound. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's have some fun. Yes, why not? Let's have some fun. We have a game which Amber is about to introduce. Yes, do you mind? Oh, I guess I can. Yeah, you want me to hand it to you? Yes, please. Today I don't mind because I look good. It's okay. Let Jacob do some work. Jacob Slatter. I'm going to do some (laughs) (laughs) Y'all, so today this game is called Inhumanity. I love how it's like a brownish melanin color. It's cute. It's real cute. This is made by my friend, okay? And this is an amazing game. I'm going to break it down so we all can get a little rounded. Okay. Break it down. Okay. And I want it, I want him to give me a sweatshirt too. Yes, they have merchandise as well. Hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, crop tops, backpacks. The link will be in the description box and? so you guys can purchase the game and as well as merch. Right. Inhumanity, okay, is a thought-provoking card game tailored to the black experience, featuring card categories that dive into society, religion, spirituality, and politics. It presents profound questions and fosters in-depth conversations and Analysis, offering a valuable platform for exploration and discussion. Mm. Okay, next time, keep the big words out. Just have a little fun. Pull a card and let's talk about it. <laughs> Easy. Like, you know what I'm saying? You roll the dice, whatever lands on you pull, and then we're going to discuss. Got you. Y'all ready? Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Period. So let's open this nice thing. Look that's at that. That's nice. That look, look, that's look, so nice. Look, like, for real? Come on. I thought they was plastic. Ooh. They look wood. That look like something from Harry Potter. Yeah, this next level right here, real nice and sleek. Okay. Y'all better get y'all one of these. I'm going to get my roll on. B. Okay, let's pick a card from B. Excuse me, I have my press-ons from uh, Nicki Minaj. (laughs) Got to slide that in there. Yes. (laughs) Have you ever experienced any pressure within our community from your peers or family members to embrace a specific religion belief? Elaborate on your answer. Mm. Um, honestly, I haven't. We always been, well, we grew up Methodist, then we went Christian, you know, so. I don't know. Everything was regular for me. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, so, I was always in the church, though. Always. Hello. I'll be there this Sunday, friend. Always. Oh, come on. Yeah. I'm coming this week, so yeah, I got to give God the praise. Week. And did it? No, he only go for holidays. No, no excuse me. Of, one of those type of Christians. <laughs> Part time. I went to Part church time. with you about a couple months ago. You forgot? Last year. Uh, was that last year? You ain't been to church this year. You know that. I didn't know it was this right. year. Right. Let me it don't matter. Guy. I went last year and I went with you. So don't say, it was, was it a holiday that, that day? That was one time. Was, you it, was, it, excuse excuse me. was it a holiday? I didn't think so. Okay, I'm at C. Let me see. Go ahead. C. See what you pulled. Let me see. Which one is C? Is right that, there, the dark one. Here, the dark one. Mm-hmm. This paper, this look flat. This is good. This is good. Um, paper. <laughs> 
Where I'm at? Wait. Well, we all supposed to discuss it. Oh, let's discuss yours first. Okay, well, I said mine was regular, so what about y'all? Yeah. So, um, I never had an issue with religion. Yeah. I was raised Catholic first, and then I became a Christian. Period. I was raised Christian. Okay. And, yeah. Yeah, okay, now yours. Okay, first God. Let me just scroll again. <laughs> okay, what's she on? B. I like them Bs. <laughs> Those must be the freaky ones. The Bs? They're the freaky So I'm reading this side, right? That's the only side you can read. Why I don't say nothing? Oh, it's, oh, it's a blind oh, card. Wait. So now you got to pull from the side? No, from this side, right? Okay, got you. Okay, it says, in your opinion, why do... Wait, these glasses. Okay, here we go. And you they clear. Mm -hmm. In your opinion, <laughs> why do you think that there is growing trends amongst our youth to move away from organized religion and explore different spiritual paths? Mm. The youth these days... <laughs> they ruthless. They yeah. wasn't. They didn't. They weren't raised like us. No. Like I was saying, how my grandmother, um, when we like breakfast, morning time, breakfast was on the table, lunch, lunch was on the table, dinner, dinner was mm -hmm. on the table. Um, like even my grandma did after dinner, we had this, we had dessert. Like that's just we, it was traditional, right? Right. Like kids don't experience that. Mm -hmm. They don't. They, it, like family. Kids are telling their parents, and family. Can, can you door dash me? And they taking it to yeah, their and, room. They and got they door the dash. Right, Hello. right. They getting it themselves. Nobody, I, nobody sits at the table anymore. That's why family. I said with well, my nephew and everybody eat different. Mm. Like my nephew, not if my nephew don't get chicken strips and fries or nuggets and fries, and he's gonna eat cereal. Like that's just mm. how he is. So they and we and they y'all not raising these kids right now. right because right. we ain't was on the table period for I'm sure not. I wasn't saying nothing and if I and didn't a lot eat, of these kids the table, I had to sit there till I did eat it right. a lot of these kids on drugs I remember it was not no up, I remember that story nothing. you told me yeah I had to sit there till I ate that they gonna cut the lights off they in the room I'm still sitting there now I was a little spoiled Riot. if I didn't want it I'll call my dad and be like I don't want this mm, lucky you I was getting that <laughs> ass beat <laughs> and my, 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 my mom be like no no you eating that oh okay <laughs> Okay, okay, I'm going to eat it. Um, I guess I'm going to do it. Right here. Okay. I can't see what it's Okay, doing. you want A. A? Okay. Yeah, have a cap. Oh, wrong side. side. Oops. <laughs> I should have learned. Okay. Oh. Harry Potter day. <laughs> mm -hmm. What is your stance on non-black individuals using the N-word while singing Ooh. along to a song? Absolutely Keep not. Keep your mouth shut. Never say uh, the N-word. Just like this. What's up, my... And, and, you know what I mean? You got to just exit that out. It's never okay. It's not. Just because it's a song doesn't give you a hall pass to be disrespectful. Not even the Hispanics too much. They use it a lot. They, they do. do. And y'all not uh, even black. Nigga. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nah. Nigga, what's up, fool? The only time y'all use black is ne negro when y'all be talking about black. Negro. Negro. <laughs> well, how you say negro? <laughs> negro. Just, right, yeah. exactly. That's and roll the tongue say that. to negro. Right. Yeah. Right. So, you know, why you say black is Spanish? Negro. I forgot. Oh, that's how you say it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I heard that Hispanic lady say, and I said, "You calling me a nigga?" And she said, "No, no, no, no." no. I, I, yeah, that's why I mentioned that word because I literally heard a Hispanic lady say it the other day via conversation when she was talking to somebody else. But why is negro black? Right, and I was trying right, to think. But right. when she talked about me, I thought the same thing. What she, what she talking about me? But I didn't think that she was. Mm -hmm. But I was like, maybe it's because that's way like that they, almost like they say it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Why would they make that the color? The name. Look, who knows? I don't know. <laughs> I you want to do another one? Are we going to do one more each? Or you want to uh, get okay. into the Instagram question? We'll do another one. We're going to roll it. We're going to okay. roll again. Okay. Everybody Girl, get your you roll. We having fun. I'm on A again. Okay. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> okay. In your opinion, can a person of our community be pro-black while also engaging in international dating? Explain your perspective. Absolutely not. You know I don't play that interracial. You know, far, yeah, I don't play that interracial dating. I like black with black, Hispanic with Hispanic, white with white. Matter of fact, I don't care what y'all do. I like black with black. Um, I like uh, black, red, orange, purple, green, yellow, um, beige. Or I support it, but it for doesn't me, matter. Love to I love like, is love to me. Whoever gonna respect me? So you yeah. date out your rice? I have. Mm. And will I had a little Latin? Oh. Mm. 
I be no, you know. I had a, I had an Asian. Okay, now you pushing it. No. <laughs> Cause I couldn't believe what I saw. I said, oh. Oh, he was hanging, slanging, Bruce yeah. Lee, wanging. A lot of people say top chat. A lot of people say oh. they small. I've seen the Asian with a, a big, you know. Bet stick. you have. Mm-hmm. Mm. And then, um, <laughs> well, no, Belizeans they black. <laughs> oh wow, yeah. I mean, you know, y'all can do what y'all want to do, but for me, it's just black on black. That's it. That's all I can do. That's all. <laughs> hmm. I love my black men. Damn, black brother, strong. <laughs> <laughs> In your opinion, should our religious, um, what's that? Our religious centers be more financially engaged in empowering our community? Why or why not? Um, our religious centers. Like church. Some churches. Should they financially provide for the community? Mm. So I'm going to say this. The Catholic church does. Okay. Because you, if you notice, the Catholic Church always give them free carnivals, and mm-hmm. that's giving know. back. The okay. Christian Church is greedy. They used to feed us after church. They don't even do that no Not more. all. Some <laughs> are striving to continue to stay open, but the big churches, like, you know, the big names. Yeah. They the, can give back. They can give back. They can. But, like, at the Catholic Church, um, after church, usually on Sundays, mm-hmm. um, they have, like, a lot of—I don't know if they still do it, but what they did when I was younger— yeah, they still do it. Um, they have like food and stuff in the parking I like lot, that. and and the parking lot is shut down. And you know, you go around and eat, and it's in this oh, old cool. community open. And then every now and then, they would give like big, huge carnivals, mm-hmm. and the carnivals would be like open to the public. So I will say the church that I used to go to in Sacramento back when I lived at home, they would give away um, food like groceries after uh, Bible study every Wednesday. Yeah, churches still do that. They uh, still do that. Yeah, yeah they do. And okay. you know, uh, when school was coming back in, they try to have their Backpack. big backpacks and everything. Yeah. But Easter, they have like a little something after. Little, huh? little Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. Kid. So. Yeah. Churches, they doing their thing. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Give it up. B. B. And B is on a roll. From the front. The other way. This one? Yeah. Oh, shit. I got these men. Okay. Okay. The mm-hmm. Nikki's. Have your religious or spiritual beliefs ever led you to harbor feelings or hatred towards or to feel better than a person or a specific group of individuals? Because I'm a Christian, do I feel better than people? No. Does it mean do you feel better than people? Or did it mean like do you do, uh, harbor re- feel? Oh, harbor feelings are, are hate. Because they're another religion. Certain Christians won't deal with other religions because they believe in God and God only. It's, yeah, because some people that's what she the said. Father, the Son, and the Holy. Yeah. Some people don't believe Father, in three. Right. Right. I got that tatted if I was the Holy Spirit. Um, no, but it never stopped me. It never no. stopped me. Right. You know, when it comes I'm, to religion. I'm firm in my religion. Firm. I'm firm. Too. I still sin, but I, you know, I'm, I'm accounting for it. Yeah. Oh, saved yeah. by grace. How about that? I think when it comes to religion, with me, mm-hmm. um, and one of my friends one time told me I shouldn't do this, but um, when it comes to religion, um, I wanna know, like, we all had three different religions right now, mm-hmm. right? I wanna know. About yours, I want to know about yours. Yeah, like I want to know. Educate yourself. I want to be educated on everybody' religion. So when it comes to multiple different types of religion, I have respect for whatever Mm -hmm. you believe in. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah, like because that's your belief, and the thing is, we like people that are like Buddhists. They born into that. Mm -hmm. Uh, like uh, monks, they born into that stuff. Right. So it's like it's a tradition for yeah. them. So we can't be like, like who are we? we to judge? But the, the crazy thing is they are born into that. And the crazy thing is we get a choice. Exactly. Mm, that's we do. Good. I like that. That's true. Because see, if we born in to being a Christian, right? Mm-hmm. We can easily be like, no, I'm a, I want to be Catholic. Right. right. I want to be Baptist. Yeah. I want to mm-hmm. be uh apostolic mm-hmm. or whatever. True. Like monks and Hindus and them kind of people, they don't get that option. Right, that's from birth up. Right. Yeah. So we'll it's take- instilled in them. Huh. Yeah. They scared to change. Exactly. They feel like if they do, they gonna their family ain't gonna talk to them no more. Hello. That's like what's those people called? They live in their own little community. Nuns. Not nuns. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Um, Amish. Amish. Yes, yeah, I was Amish. watching the show and the girl wanted to get out the Amish. They had to go around back streets and she had to escape. And the, her, her sister was walking by and said, slut, because she was leaving out the family. Ooh. And the mom cut her phone off. Yeah. Ooh. What more food? It, it was a good no, it was a TV show. I'll be on Amazon Prime. She be watching all the good Yes, I watched some crazy I'm going to Google stuff. that. I'm going to Yes, Google it was that. so good. I thank God that we have options. Absolutely. Yep. Same here. Yeah. Yeah. 
Same thing with men. Okay. You know what? Hey, I love that for us. Let's get into some Instagram questions. There are some people that did ask you some questions. Uh, one of the questions were, uh, what do you do to help your uh, vocal ability? Nothing. Nothing? Okay. I don't do nothing. When it's a gift, it's a gift. Hello? Somebody also said, James, would you ever do a song with Tamar? Because I need that in existence, please. Yes, I would. Yes. Period. You didn't give me any. Oh, I, oh you no, didn't you kept ask it for me. yourself. <laughs> I posted on a pod page at my page. Jacob's no, I'm Flatter. saying usually we send the script. Oh, I know. I forgot my baby. Right. He tried to be, you know, greedy. Jacob. I'm, uh-huh. You do, he does that time to time. That? No, I don't. Try to take the shot. It's okay. Girl, I don't got to take him. It's fine. Oh, no. please. Fine. Y'all already walked here and he's just feeling <laughs> I mean, it. Right. Feeling it. <laughs> Okay, well, we already answered this question. Okay, so you say you had something up at the top of your dime. What is it? Yes, are you single? Yes. Okay, why do you think that is? Um, so let me tell you. Okay, so let me tell y'all this. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> I'm sorry, my last man was no good, but I want him back. I don't care. Okay. Cause let me tell you why. I listen to everybody that want to talk about my no good man, but they still be with they no good man all the time. Speak on it. Mm-hmm. I learned a lesson in that. But um, I want you back. You know who you is. Period. Tweet said, call me. Do you ever uh, post your man? I think that was the problem. Mm, it was like he felt like it was, you were a secret. Oh, no. The he- problem was the, 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 the punks got in the inbox. and Oh, and, you so you know, did post. And he wasn't used to that. Oh, so you dated Trey. No. No? Patricia. But, uh, okay, uh, Patricia. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm like, how can but you be no. Patricia? You talk about a pug. So dating. Okay, so I'm this big personality. Mm-hmm. Let first of all, we ain't even got to talk about platforms, TV shows, songs, mm-hmm. this that. We ain't got about none of that. Okay. Just take all that away. Okay. But even with that gone, I'm still this big that personality. Part, natural. So a lot of times people feel like, if I pick a person <laughs> to be with, mm-hmm. I want to be with you. I don't care about your status. About your status you and all that. Mm-hmm. I don't right. care about that. That's and I don't want you to right? care about that with me mm-hmm. too. Like, I want to be with you. Right, period. And that's that. And people don't get it. Mm. And I had somebody tell me like, why you chose me? Like, out of all the people you could have chose, you're going to choose me. I ain't got nothing. Wow. I said, baby, you got, to, insecurities you got to live in your security, baby. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Damn. You got to, people, like, literally be like, no, I have so, I was with somebody, and he was like, I just felt like I had to catch up to you. No, you don't got to catch up, baby. It was intimidating. You don't got to wow. catch up. We're not eating hot dogs. We're not no catch up, baby. What's your type? Rich figure, eight figure. I'm tired. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Boom. Oh, mine yeah. too. Pocket full of bitch. <laughs> bust down, bust down. <laughs> Messy hoes like to talk shit. No, wait. Oh, my God. I don't have one. No? What? You just go over with everybody you feel good? No, no, no. Oh. Like, I'm not picky. I'm not a picky person. Mm-hmm. I'm so easy. Like, I could come to your house, you could you could make us some sandwiches, some chips, and bitch, I'm a little bit like... Oh, I like that. I'm like, bitch, you made this mean sandwich, you know? <laughs> I'm not picky. Mm-hmm. Like, in life, period, I'm not picky. I'm so easy. Um... Only thing is, I want to wear all black every day, and that's probably the biggest thing. I love some thing. black. Yeah, I love about to wear all black. This yeah. year is like the first year I'm actually. Wearing you know, all color. black is like royal. People don't know this royal. I like black with gold. That's giving royal too. And I, I'm not. Yeah, I'm. And look, I found this ring under my couch, cleaning up. It's silver. I don't know who lost that ring at my house, but thank you, ma'am. Oh, it's yours now. It's costume though, but <laughs> um, it is what it is. But I'm not picky, and I'm so easy. And and the crazy thing is, like, I cook for my man. I told I you. Up, I, I told all, like, Amber that on the me. phone. Did we, we, weren't we talking about this? You said, oh, I'm going to bring it up to James. Because oh, I... Oh, you I, said, he said it like you... Funny. Were, <laughs> I go, it's not funny that he said that, and I literally told you that on the phone. Right, he said, like, you cook for your man. As, uh, I go in, I, I can I'm tell like that a, you're a nurturing type of guy. Yeah. Nurturing. I told Amber that I can feel that from you. Like, I can tell that you cook for them, you cater to them. And you make them chicken, like you would smell like chicken. No, I'll be still be smelling like Right, food. right. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's what Jacob said. I said, he, I, <laughs> that's what Jacob said on the phone. I'm just saying. I said, he gonna smell like chicken? You, you said something like, it's like he'll make chicken, like he'll smell like chicken. No, I said, I'm sure he can fry some good chicken. <laughs> oh, that's. 
<laughs> well, chicken came up. I didn't wait, say wait. that about him smell like no chicken. Oh, maybe I just want some chicken. Well, I am hungry. Oh, don't play. I'll go fry <laughs> some right now. Did you bring my chicken powder that you promised? I meant to bring the damn fry. I forgot it. I that's barely... how I am. I'm like <laughs> real. And I'm like that with my friends, too. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, yeah. like, we still never got a plate. <laughs> I, you just come by, pop up, and get a plate. Okay. I'm telling you, people pop. <laughs> my cousin, he pops up and be like, hey, I got $100. What you gonna make? Mm. Like, okay. that's how my cousins do. They be like, hey, you gonna cook today? One of my cousins be like, can you make some Kool Aid? He want Kool Aid every day. I heard that. Well, that's you probably make good Kool Aid, huh? I do make good Kool Aid. Yeah. I make good Kool Aid. Yeah, I'm a good kid. <laughs> no, like, that's how I am. I'm like, I'm a granny. <laughs> I like I that. I love it. You're an old soul. You're an old soul. I'm my granny. You're your granny's reflection. Yeah. She used to Spinning cook. image. Everybody ate at our house every day. That's just how it is. Like, and it's just crazy. And you know what I realized, too, though? Cooking and cleaning and, and loyalty and being faithful and honest. And it still don't keep a man. It don't get you no damn where. Because right. people are used. Right. Let me tell you. Mm. People that are used to being abused and used and yeah. in these horrible situations, mm -hmm. they feel that that's what they supposed to come into when they get into the next situation. And what's crazy is them not being used to people Goodness. being nice and kind, mm -hmm. it scares them. Right, but it's like after a while of that pattern, don't you get tired? Don't you realize like, okay, I keep coming into this like this. They're trying to show me something different. Maybe I should adapt. Why the fuck you keep bringing the same shit into the new situation? Right. They try to the adapt. same results. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. They try to adapt, but after a while, it's like, oh, wait a minute. Still, that kicks in. I'm not right. used to this. That's a, because ooh. let me tell you where it starts from. Home. Mm -hmm. That upbringing. Yeah. Huh. If you see a mama get popped and and, and or that mama popping daddy or daddy popping mama mm -hmm. and and they cutting up in the household, that's all you know. That's all you know. Facts. That's all Facts. you know. And so when you get out in life, you that's miss you, out. Right. I still want my old man back. He was hitting you. Oh no. Oh. I had a hit one time from somebody. Yeah, me too. Ooh, and I had dogged him. I oh. dog dogged him. I said, "Ooh, we don't play that over here." Mm -mm, not none. Mm -hmm. What is that? What you doing? And right. then what thought you we were supposed to be together after. Oh no, baby, you got to go. Right. At least you have the strength to get out of it and not saying it. Yeah, because some a lot people of people just don't. be stuck like a duck. Yeah. Oh, I like have the strength to beat his ass. Mm -hmm. You got to go. <laughs> Trick or treat, baby. It's October. You got to go. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to be with you after that. No, absolutely not. Right. Mm -mm. Anytime you do like this, I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm I see. Turn it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Something on my mind. <laughs> no, I ain't. Uh uh. No. <laughs> no, 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 baby. <laughs> you just a fool. You know you in love. What you said. You hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Amber could wait to have no. her moment with that's you. That's really my, one of my favorite movies. Really? Yes. Oh, girl, that's what's that's love got to do with it? Best movies. Yes. But uh uh. Mm -hmm. I'll play that. <laughs> <laughs> I find rings under the couch. Okay. But well, we have had a great ass time with you. I feel like this episode was amazing. Praise God. Okay. Can we get a little run or something? Can you give us a little? Ooh, yeah. What was the run that um what was... <laughs> Okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's the run. I can't. That's the run. Um because the great greatest. Love of all is happening to me. Mm. I found the great test. Love of all inside of me. Yeah. Oh, I got some little chills. Right. That's, better me. That's a gift. Thank you My for Lord. that treat. Because I know you charge a fee. Mm -hmm. Thank you, friend. I'll, I'll charge. Before we go. I'll charge my friends. Thank you. Inhumanity, y'all. You can order it right now. Let me tell you something, okay? www.inhumanity.com. Promo code is just us. No you. So J-S-T-U-S. No you in the just, okay? That is J-S-T-U-S for 20% off of your purchase. Ooh, yes, 20. you guys. The link is down in the description 20 box. 20 pretty good, right? 20 so good. Purchase. Purchase. off, y'all. The, the link is down in the description. What have you? <laughs> Nobody. You go man, what is it called? What's the game called? Inhumanity. Inhumanity. 20 percent off now. Yeah. Twin. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. Yes, I love and you. before we go, I have a gift from, yes. for you. For me? Yes, I told these people that you oh. were coming and they said, please. 
Slide this over. This now, this eat. is qu called crown skin, okay? Uh -huh. This is for king skin. It's king body butter. And it has, um, they say, fer ferments in them. Y'all heard about ferments? Ain't that like sexual? No, but it's supposed to, oh, something like that, because it's supposed to attract men. Yeah. Too. So I want you to give this a smell. Put this on Gucci. Uh-huh, everywhere. Yeah, give it a smell. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's, yes. that's, um, make people, um. Yes. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Ooh, that's good. Smell oh, like everything. Yep. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Jacob, I have one for you as well. You do, friend. Go ahead yes. and toss it on over. Ah, that's good. Ooh, I got hands. Mm -hmm. So they wanted me to give that, and I hope y'all enjoyed it. It's for men. King's it's a body butter, skin. you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Real King's thick and body nice. butter. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys again for tuning in into another episode of the Just Us podcast with our wonderful guest, James Wright Chanel. I'm one of your hosts, Jacob Willis. It's your girl, Just Living, baby. And we'll see you in episode 46. Uh Hey, kings and queens, give your child the gift of a deeper connection with God and a stronger faith foundation with My Journey Within Kids Christian Journal. Start their journey today and watch as they grow in their understanding of God's love and purpose for their lives. You guys can go ahead and get a hard copy or you can get a digital copy with the links down below.